Good morning and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarter deck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I want to take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines, and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Iowa, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, State, Flags, Order, Arms, And now, we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we welcome today's graduating divisions.
Division three. One four. Division three. Division three, one, six. Division three, one, seven. Division three. Today's graduating performing unit is Division 9, 4, 6. 
Division 946 provides the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions countered March. Visions Hall. May I have your attention, please? For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we ask that as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. 
Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Division commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see nine divisions comprised of 801 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is seaman recruit Harley Veliz from La Belle, Florida. Let's give her a hand, folks. Performing today is the state flags unit on their seventh week of training, the staff unit on their eighth week of training, and the triple threat unit on their 10th and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 3, 1, 1. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Robert Allison. Petty Officer First Class Tomas Kozlowski. Betty Officer Second Class, Matthew Grantham. And the Recruit Chief Betty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Zachary Patton from Iron, Massachusetts. Division 3, 1, 2. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Robert Allison. Betty Officer First Class, Chad Sawyer. Petty Officer First Class, John McCormick. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Constructionman Colin Springer from Bellevue, Ohio. Division 3, 1, 3. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Dale Valia. Petty Officer First Class, Brittany Diaz. Betty Officer First Class, Ricky Bryant. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Harris Bowers from Phoenix, Arizona. Division 3, 1, 4. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Dale Bolluyan. Chief Petty Officer, Kalan Roman. Petty Officer Second Class, Matthew Schneider. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Ikaika Milan from Spokane, Washington. Division 
three, one, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Terrence Carter. Petty Officer First Class Andrew Nickel. Petty Officer First Class Jake Wood. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Recruit Jaden Bissono from Campbell Hall, New York. Division 316. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Terrence Carter. Petty Officer Second Class, Nelsie Salcedo. Petty Officer Second Class, Maya Jeanette Abru. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit David Flores Martinez from Escondido, California. Division 317. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Colin David. Chief Petty Officer Anthony Spence. Petty Officer First Class Montana Potts. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Mason Webb from Amanda, Ohio. Division 319. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Lewis Jones. Petty Officer First Class, Dylan Sublett. Petty Officer First Class, Joshua Sweeney. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Fireman Apprentice Ethan Chase from Houston, Missouri. Division 946. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Farissa Moore. Petty Officer First Class, Daniel Weber. Petty Officer First Class, Shantae Bryant. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Isaiah McNeil from Terre Haute, Indiana. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Bosun, and Honor Guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to render honors. Today's reviewing officer will receive arrival honors to include an 11 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Hold on. Recruit Training Command, arriving. Amphibious Construction Battalion 1, arriving. Fighting Readiness Naval Sea Systems Command arriving. The guests may be seated.
guests please rise. Present arms. Present arms. Chaplain Stillwater will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Source of togetherness, it is a day of joy. Because praise be, they have made it. It has been a long and exhausting road, and praise be, they have made it. Not alone, oh no, but praise be, they have made it. With the help of RDCs, praise be, they have made it. With the help of instructors, facilitators, staff, praise be, they have made it. With the help of family, friends, and their beloved, praise be, they have made it. And wherever they go, I know that when they safely get there, praise be, they have made it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
for praise be, they have made it. With gratitude and praise, amen. Guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Is present or accounted for, ma'am. Very well. The Sailor's Creed. Aye.
I can tell we have a lively bunch out there today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the United States Navy Quarterdeck. Welcome to Recruit Training Command. For all those attending this graduation live here and watching from around the world, I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Robert Dodson, the Director of War Fighting Readiness and Naval Sea Systems Command, and our guest of honor, Captain Andy Little, Commanding Officer, Amphibious Construction Battalion I would also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsor, Commander, Submarine Force Atlantic, Sponsoring Division 317. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring motivation while here at Recruit Training Command. I would also like to welcome our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country, as well as our Gold Star families attending here. To all of our veterans, please rise and our Gold Star families so we give you a round of applause. Please. We honor your service and your sacrifice for the safety and the well-being of our nation. Thank you for your service. Division 946 graduates today. They're our triple threat unit. You just watched providing a recruit, choir, drill team, and band. And clearly, they practiced extra hard the last several weeks. How about a round of applause for them? As uh, some of the energy would notice, we have eight other outstanding divisions standing before you here. About a round of applause for the outstanding professionals. <laughs> Staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their Navy family, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family to learn more and visit our website for more information on your Navy family resources. Today's graduates will serve as the bedrock of American Naval Forces around the world and join other sailors on watch to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten them. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for 801 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Please be seated. Recruit Training Command's competitive system, among individual recruits and divisions, promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in five mission areas academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle lead flag in recognition of their performance. Division 316 has earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. Rap Mo Dotson will now present this week's individual award, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg, and our guest of honor, Captain Little. Good morning, Captain. 
For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Airman Kobe McKendry, Division 311, from Tampa, Florida, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of American Revolution. Airman McKendry receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. Morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Airman Apprentice is Mellon, reporting. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Airman Apprentice Kenneth McMillan, Division 316, from Port Townsend, Washington, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Apprentice McMillan is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, Seller. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Morning, Captain. Airman Apprentice Davidson, reporting. Airman Apprentice Charlie Davidson, Division 312, from Cedar City, Utah is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Airman Apprentice Davidson is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Captain. Hey, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Airman Headland reporting. Airman Jesse Headland Jr., Division 317, from Barney Gat, New Jersey, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman Headland Jr. is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. Good Captain. Thank you, Captain. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Apprentice Calvin Stewart, Division 315, from Honolulu, Hawaii, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Apprentice Stewart is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Airman Sasha Percival, Division 313, from Suffolk, Virginia, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She is awarded a flag letter accommodation. Airman Percival, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor.
It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award recipients. Hip hip! All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our award recipients? Outstanding performance. <laughs> now, depending on your point of view, nine short weeks or long weeks ago, we all got together in this, uh, in this hall, and we had a conversation with this training group about earning the right to come back here in their service dress blues before all our family and friends in this hall of honor and earning the right to stand here as the United States Navy Sailors. So, I just want to say congratulations. You have arrived. Nice job. Round of applause. <laughs> now, I have this distinct honor this morning of uh, introducing our reviewing officer, Rabbi Admiral Robert Dodson, Director of Warfighting Readiness, Naval Sea Systems Command. A native of Lusby, Maryland, he was commissioned through the NROTC program at Pennsylvania State University in 1995. Among his assignments, he served as the Reserve Program Manager for Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard, an intermediate maintenance facility in the Shipyard Infrastructure Optimization Program. Additionally, Rear Admiral Dodson commanded Naval Reserve NAVC Washington, District of Columbia. He also twice served as a Regional Commanding Officer in Naval Reserve Surge Main East and was the 7th Surge Main National Director. Prior to his current assignment, he served as the NAVC Reserve Program Lead for War Fighting Readiness, aligning the ship maintenance line of effort and NAIL Reserve Fighting Instructions. Translation, he's really good at ship maintenance. Right, he works really hard to make sure you have the best material in the fleet to make your ships ready for anything. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a warm welcome to Rebel Dotson. Good morning, and what a boisterous and energetic group of friends and family. Uh, thank you. Please keep that up for the rest of this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the U.S. Navy's newest sailors, welcome to this impressive ceremony to celebrate a major milestone on the journey of dedication, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment. We are here to celebrate these remarkable individuals who have chosen to serve their nation and join the ranks of the world's finest maritime force. Graduates, from the moment you step foot in Recruit Training Command, you embark on a path of transformation. You embrace challenges, conquer diversity, and push yourself beyond your limits. Through, demand, through the demanding drills, rigorous training, and countless hours of pain, you have emerged as true embodiments of honor, courage, and commitment. You're joining your shipmates in the fleet at a critical and challenging time. Threats to our country are higher than they have been at any time in my career. Global competition, following decades without a peer, evolved into threats by our adversaries to disrupt world order. We must stand up to these threats in defense of the homeland, U.S. interests, allies and partners, and the American way of life. The goal is to prevent hostilities through strong, credible deterrence. But if deterrence fails, we must be prepared to fight and decisively win. We will succeed if we are well trained to use the combat power that resides in the United States Navy. To that end, you must, be pre you must prepare yourself to be a warfighter that gives the Navy an asymmetric advantage against our adversaries. Take full advantage of the vast array of learning opportunities. You will have to completely know your rate. Learning will come from schoolhouses, on-the-job training, observations, exercise, and personal initiative. You must always be ready to perform your role, and you must always be agile so you can respond to situations you have not trained for. Remember, the force that adapts the fastest and implements that learning creates opportunities for success. Sailors have proven this recently. In the Black Sea, the Red Sea, and everywhere else our Navy operates. As you set sail on this new chapter, 
Always remember the camaraderie you have built, the bonds of friendship that have been formed, and the enduring legacy you now carry. Your dedication to duty will continue to inspire, your actions will continue to lead, and your service will continue to protect. Congratulations, sailors, on this momentous achievement. May your voyage be true, your course steady, and your sails forever filled with the winds of honor and pride. Fair winds and following seas. Ramo Dodson will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight toward the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us in this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call!